This tutorial is going to cover the text effect tool in the Action Pro Studio. So this tool is currently not active. You can see that as I click on it, nothing happens. It will actually only become live when I am selected on a line of text in CorelDRAW. So first thing first, I'm going to use my regular text tool with CorelDRAW to type out some text. Go Tigers! Exclamation point. Before clicking on the text effects, I am going to choose a font inside of CorelDRAW. So now I have a line of text with an exciting font that I'm currently selected on. Now I click on the text effects, which is going to bring up my text effects window. Here I have over 100 presets to choose from. You can see as I am selecting different presets, my color options down here are changing. So once I have decided on a text option, I have a, um, my fill color, a first outline, a second outline, and a shadow. I'm going to change the text fill by clicking on this color swatch and choosing a new color. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first outline. I'll make that white. Second outline, change that to black. And I'll keep the shadow the cool gray color. I want to direct your attention to the corner options right here. If you've ever manually added an outline in CorelDRAW, you're aware of the fact that you can choose to have squared corners or rounded corners. This is where you can make that selection. For any sort of cursive font or script font, or like a distress font, you want to go ahead and change this to rounded. However, for any sort of font that is rigid or sharp, like a college font that we have on our page, we're just going to go ahead and keep our corners squared off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that the changes have been made to my text. I can size this up, move it around, exciting text in just a couple seconds. Notice my nice square corners. Let's do another one real quick to show the rounded corners option. Let me lay down a line of text and put a nice cursive font on it. Go ahead and click on text effects. Select a preset. Choose a fill color. Here this has one outline and a shadow. And now, because I have a cursive font, I'm going to go ahead and select the rounded corners. Hit OK. Then size it up. And you can see on this how I have nice rounded corners on my outlines. And that's how you use the text effect feature inside of the Action Pro Studio.